February 26, 2012. Then freshman Jake Madsen picked up two hits in an RBI and a 4-1 loss to Middle Tennessee State. The first baseman has not only played in the following 124 games for the Cats, but he has started each and every contest. I can't remember the last time I sat out of the game. You know, it's just, I enjoy to play it so much. If I sat on the bench, I wouldn't know what to do with myself. You know, first basemen tend to have a lot of longevity. Um, they don't, they're not typically diving around the field. Or they don't do nearly as much throwing as maybe some of the other positions, so that's maybe a little bit of it. Um, some of it's luck, just staying healthy. Back spasms nearly ended Madsen's streak at 120 games against St. Bonaventure. It was pretty painful to even swing the bat, but, you know, coach wanted me to play and I wanted to play as well. Yeah, he just asked me, how you feeling? And I said, don't worry about me. Dynamic and static stretching highlighter routine as intended to reduce injuries and increase longevity. You know, every athlete that's ever played at any kind of serious level realizes there's a difference between being injured and just being sore or, or maybe even just being slightly hurt. That is that fine line you walk with, with players and trainers and coaches trying to make sure you make the right decision with those guys. Honestly, we've had more injuries than I've ever seen, so for him to stay healthy and uh, do his own thing and stay on the field, it uh, really helps our team out. I worry about my own health, but at the same time, I, I want to I help the team win the game. Staying healthy has allowed Madsen to work on his game, and he has seen improvements since his first days as a Bobcat. I was very, very slow and unathletic as a freshman, and I feel as I've grown and worked out that I'm more athletic to my left and right and that kind of thing. As a hitter, he's just a pure hitter, and that's, that's really, I think, one of his, his best assets is his just ability to know how to hit. He understands how to work pitchers. He understands situations. He does a very good job executing those, especially when he takes batting practice. You know, he doesn't really get cheated. You don't see him take off many swings. He does a good job of, of you know, putting his best swing on the ball. For a player with aspirations to play at the next level, Madison insists that there is much work to do. You can never be great at every thing in the game, otherwise, you know, I'd probably be in the major leagues right now. But. One major leaguer who has spent years perfecting his skills is Cincinnati first baseman Joey Votto, Madsen's favorite ball player. Just every at bat he takes, he's always just so locked in, like, he's just always got that look on his face like, I'm going to beat you. Madsen uses his own skills to lead by example since he isn't always the most vocal member of the team. Right now I'm going through a rough patch at the plate, you know, don't be throwing helmets and slamming bats and that kind of thing. You know, just handle it like a man and eventually things will work out for you. He doesn't say a whole lot. He's kind of actually in the like, freshman year. I think it took like three months before we actually like a full conversation with like anyone. Anyway, kind of just like a really quiet guy. And In a season plagued with injuries for the Cats, having Madsen's streak end would be a significant setback. Uh, obviously, being that he's one of our better players, uh, you hope that doesn't happen because uh, you'd have some, you know, some big shoes to fill. But uh, like many of the other injuries we've dealt with, somebody would have to just step up and, and try to fill that gap and be productive for us. He just, his body is like tougher, I guess. He uh, knows what to do. He knows how to prepare for games maybe a little better. But I mean, maybe I should practice my game after him and stay on the field as much as him.